In Africa, nearly one billion people use charcoal and fire to cook every single day. This is bad news for our planet, this is bad news for our community, and this, this is bad news for our health. Four million people die every single year as a result of this. Four million is the equivalent of the entire population of the greater Seattle metropolitan area. Four million lives that need not to be lost. And for most of these families that live on two to three dollars per day, cleaner energy is beyond their reach. The effects of this on the environment is even more profound. In Kenya alone, we lose 125,000 acres of trees to make charcoal every single year. 125,000 acres is 15,000 century link soccer fields. For most of these families that do not access clean energy, that have to use charcoal or firewood, even though the effects of what they're doing is profound in the environment, they can do nothing about it. And one of those families was my family. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tom Osborne, and I'm the founder of Green Chair. Today, I want to take you on a journey, 9,000 miles from where we are today to the vast continent of Africa. In this sugarcane plantation is my home. My dad is a sugarcane farmer. Though I still don't know why they call him a farmer, because it's my mom who does the actual farming. <laughs> By my mom who just walked in, her official role is a housewife. And so what does society expect her to do? Cook, take care of the kids, and many other housewifeish tasks. And so growing up within this community, my role was simple, help my mom. And one of the tasks that she gave me every day was to light that charcoal stove. And I didn't look forward to it. I didn't like it. Why? Did I not like eating? I eat a lot, though my size doesn't show it. I had to light that stove. And to light it, I have to collect wood. I have to put it on the stove. I have to get a matchstick, collect dry leaves, light it. I have to fan it for 15 minutes for it to start lighting. And I found that to be a very boring way to spend every day as a teenager. But then four years ago, something drastic happened in my life. My mom was diagnosed with a lung disease. She, like the many other women in our situation, had fallen sick because of using charcoal and firewood. And so I wondered, what could I do about it? Her situation was not unique. There are 10 million women in Kenya who are like my mother. And so, I was only a 14-year-old kid in high school. I gave up my dream of one day being an NBA star, joined the school science club, and tried to find a solution for this problem. Four years later, this solution will be Green Chair. What is Green Chair? Green Chair is a social company whose vision is a world where energy is clean and affordable for all. The first step to realizing our vision is recycling agricultural waste to form an alternative fuel for charcoal and firewood in rural Kenya. How do we do it? Simple. We source sugarcane waste from sugar companies. We take it to a processing facility where we convert it into green charcoal that can be used in traditional stoves and modern stoves. Our main product is called Makapua. Makapoa, in my vernacular, simply means cool charcoal. It is a green charcoal that can be used in homes around the country. Why Makapoa? Simple. Makapoa has no smoke. What this means is that it reduces the risks of getting lung diseases while cooking by over 80%. As if that is not enough, it is long-lasting, and so families can now use less to cook for more. And it's also low cost, and it allows families to save up to $200 a year. Well, how much is $200? I'll tell you what $200 is in Kenya. With $200, 
I can pay for the rent of a two-bedroom apartment for three months or take my kid to school for an entire semester. It is also made from agricultural waste, which means that it is eco-friendly and sustainable. We do not stop at production, we distribute our product. And our model is simple. We empower women and young people to be at the forefront of our distribution. They are our distributors, and by distributing our products, they have a, we provide them with a path to a better life. Those closest to the problem are closest to the solution. But true social impact is about changing someone's life. And for us, that someone is Nyagidea. Let me tell you about Nyagidea. Nyagidea is a widow and a mother of six. And to make ends meet, she makes charcoal from cutting down trees. But still, this only gives her $50 a month. But in the 10 months that Nyagidea has worked at Grincha, she's increased $50 to $200 of monthly income. And this is just the beginning for her. But we need to scale up Grincha. We need to make this story not about my mother, we need to make this story not about Nyagidea. We need to increase our distribution from the two towns where we are to 10 more towns in the country. We need to scale up our production. We need to improve our production process. And for that, we are raising only $300,000. I know some of you here are not investors. Well, don't worry. You can go onto our website today and buy a Grincha product for a Kenyan house. We will provide them with an entire week of supply and we'll send you a personalized thank you note. We want to take advantage of a great opportunity. There are 8.9 million households in Kenya that use charcoal every day. 150,000 institutions, by this I mean restaurants, hotels, poultry farms, who use charcoal or firewood every single day, making this a $427 million industry, dollar industry annually in Kenya alone. How do you solve a community's problem? In a perfect world, the answer to clean energy is simple. Provide these houses with gas, provide them with electricity. One, we don't live in a perfect world. Two, this, these communities cannot afford this. Three, it is ingrained in their culture to use charcoal and firewood. So what we are doing at Greencher is simple. We are meeting these communities at their point of need. We are giving them a solution that they can use with existing tools that they need as we try to change the culture, as we try to create a paradigm shift to clean energy. And as we grow as an organization, and as we bring better and more cleaner products, we want to make sure that they're accessible for all. My mother, and uh, Nyagidea are stories that inspire us in Africa. They're survivors. They tell us that social startups can create profound change in a community. They tell us that if you want to change society, if you want to create sustainable impact, you can do it with local solutions to local products. We are making a Kenyan product to solve a Kenyan problem. And this is just the beginning. I only graduated from school two years ago, and uh, my high school teacher would always tell me, you know what, Tom? Where there's smoke, there's fire. <laughs> but I will shake my head and say, no. Where there's fire, there should be no smoke. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. <laughs> <and everyone. laughs>